Welcome back, guys. Let's uh, let, let's get the rest of the oats put in, I guess. To this one. So we're going to be planting oats tomorrow and right now he's currently working up the corn ground from last year so we can start getting it all prepped early to take care of weeds for the sweet beans that are going to be here.
ladies and gentlemen. We are starting on oat planting on this ground over here. So we are planting the grass seed in with it and the alfalfa and everything. So yeah. And it is warm out. It is short weather now. It's the next day and it's also the hopefully the last day of oat planting. So I'm going to take the gator out and we're going to pick some rocks up. We got to do that in order before we uh, drag it down because, uh, well, it's going to be a hay field and uh, you don't want to hit rocks with a mower conditioner. We've done it. It's not fun. So, yeah. First load of rocks dumped on the pile. That is one big rock. All right, so the drill is down there getting filled up with seed and I am in the 7410 with the brand new drag cart. I'm gonna try not to stab my foot this time. All right, let's do this. And there's the drill. So this triangle's done. This one's done. Now this one. I'm currently unfolding the drag harrow. So this is a McFarlane. It's uh, night and day better than our International Harvester with Kiwani uh, sections. This one, still, you still unfold it by hand, but it raises and lowers the sections itself. It's pretty neat. Hydraulic, nice. We are running 9.4 miles an hour. Pulling that drag full speed ahead. Much nicer than the old International. Much, much nicer. Much wider too. So right there, still, and there's the work the drag's doing. Pretty good. There's what we have left to do on this section, and then we'll move to that section and that section. Drag is working awesome. So yeah, a lesson for anyone who's watching. Do not hurt yourself with a drag. It's possible, especially them older ones, you have to unfold all the sections by hand. Because I've done it this year. Now we're gonna make the turn. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, plant 24 is at full swing. That section's down over there. We're on this section. There. There's the drill. Camera won't focus. It's so dusty. There he is. All right, so that triangle's done. The far one back there. Now we just gotta do this one, but he's not done planting it. So I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna park the tractor here. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, this drag, this thing works amazing. I like the red too. So yeah, so this um, this one's got four drag sections per uh, area, per, per ten foot section, basically. Yeah. Ten foot, yeah, basically, yeah. And uh, two transport wheels. The whole thing raises up and down with the cylinder. You don't want to drive in a hilly area when you have it raised all the way up, otherwise you could damage this because this only pivots one way. We got the rock box. I put this rock box on. It's the same one that was on the IH drag cart. I just actually, I, I changed it. I put uh, an extension on it. So yeah. Good job, 7410. You are a dusty mess. Yeah, that thing ain't very clean. The dust is really getting to it. <laughs> So we're running a grass and oat, so, so, the, so the grass seed for the hay fields is gonna be here, and the oats are mixed together in the box. So it'll, uh, it's, so we'll get a better rate and, it'll, and it will uh, apply more evenly. But yeah, something like that. It's just we get a better stand, we get better hay coverage.
Well, I made it a lot farther in the dragging process. I still have my uh, still have my foot in one piece again. But yeah. No, that's not blood on the boot. That's paint. I've been doing some paint work on the F20, the one I restored. I'm putting some new pieces on it. So yeah. All right, guys, we're all done. She's all folded up. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.